Hello to all. Today we are going to study a very important topic and that is known as the cockroach. Now before studying this topic you must know that the classification of this cockroach. You must know that it belongs to the kingdom Animalia and it belongs to the phylum Arthropoda. Arthropoda means jointed appendages. Okay. And it belongs to the class known as the insecta. It is the biggest class and this insecta class is also called as the hexapoda because it consists of the three pairs of the legs or we can say it is it consists of six legs. Now the subclass is Terigota and the super order is Dictyoptera and the order is Blatodia, family is Blatidae, genus is the Periplaneta and the species is the Americana. We will be focusing on the species Americana means we are going to study Periplaneta Americana though there are other species also of the cockroach but the most common cockroach found all over the world is the Periplaneta Americana okay so today we are going to discuss the part one of this cockroach okay now the generic name Periplaneta this generic name genus name generic name means genus name Periplaneta was given by a scientist whose name was Burmester okay and this Periplanta americana as I have said it is the largest and the most common species of the cockroach found over the world and it is also called as American cockroach or a common cockroach it is called as American cockroach or a common cockroach or it is also called as ship cockroach now let's talk about the size that its size is in between 34 to 53 mm long I am repeating once again its size is 34 to 53 mm long and its color is dark brown okay its color is dark brown dark brown to blackish in color but generally it is dark brown and it is nocturnal you have seen that generally the cockroaches come out at the night time and hence we can say that they are nocturnal and they are omnivores okay they can eat anything what they get and hence they are omnivore for the cockroaches it is said that they are cursorial cursorial means they are very much fast runners that is they can run at a rate of 130 centimeter per second at an optimum temperature of 25 degrees celsius okay and they are living in damp places damp places means they are living at moist warm damp places okay and they exhibit cannibalism cannibalism means what sometimes not always occasionally they can feed on their own species members or in fact i can say that they can feed on their own fellows and this is called as what the cannibalism it is said that the life span of the cockroach is approximately one year okay now if we want to study the cockroach in detail so we have to study uh, the morphology of the cockroach as well as we have to study the uh, anatomy of the cockroach so in this part today we are starting with the morphology very first you must know that uh, they have true segmentation metameric segmentation and means we can say it is that they, their body is uh, truly segmented the body is segmented and the body is divided into three parts or we can say that their body entire body is actually divisible into head thorax and abdomen how many parts are there three parts are there that the anterior most part is the head right just below the head is the thorax and the abdomen so head thorax and abdomen now you must know that how many segments are there in these body parts of the cockroach so if i talk about the embryo when the cockroach is in embryonic condition right or we can say this when it is in the nymph condition so the segments are in the head region the number of the segments is six in the thorax region the number of segment is three and in the abdomen region the number of segment is 11 so six and three nine nine and eleven that is twenty so we can say it is that in the young stages the cockroach is having the 20 segments but what happens when the cockroach become adult what happens when the cockroach become adult so when the cockroach become adult 
Then the six segments found in the head region combine to form one segment. Combine to one one segment because we can say this that all the six segments are fused together. So we will be treating it as a head capsule. We will be treating as a head capsule and we will be treating it as one. In the thorax region, same in the embryonic condition, it is also found in the adult also, three. But in abdomen, you can see that there is a change of one segment. In embryonic condition, the abdomen was having 11 segment, but in the adults it is having 10 segment. So one and three, four and 10, 14. So uh, in embryonic condition, 20 uh, segments are seen and in the adults, only 14 segments are seen. Okay. Now, the very important thing is that that the entire cockroach is covered by an exoskeleton. It is covered by a hard chitinous exoskeleton. Okay, so we can say this that the entire body is covered by hard chitinous exoskeleton. It is the very important feature of the cockroach that the entire body is covered by hard chitinous exoskeleton. But now the question arises that this chitinous skeleton is present in which form? So in each segment, we know very well that the, the cockroach body is segmented. So in each segment, this exoskeleton, that is the hard chitinous exoskeleton, has hard plates. Okay. Again, I am repeating. In each segment, the exoskeleton has hard plates, and these hard plates are called as sclerites. These hard plates are called as what? Sclerites. Okay, so we can say it as that it is uh, the body is covered by hard chitinous exoskeleton and each segment the exoskeleton has hard plates called as sclerites. Now these sclerites are dorsal sclerite. They may be found on the dorsal side, on the ventral side and on the lateral side. So the names of these sclerites are different. Okay, according to the position. Say for if I say that imagine it that there is a segment. This is a segment. Okay. So entire segment is covered by the sclerite. So the sclerite of the dorsal side, sclerite of the dorsal side is always called a stergite or we can call it a stergum. Right. So the sclerite of dorsal side is stergum or tergite. You can use any term. Okay. And the sclerite of the ventral side, sclerite of the ventral side is called as the sternum or the sternite. It is called as the sternum or the sternite. And the sclerite of the lateral side, lateral side means on both sides. These are say for the lateral sides. Okay. So sclerites of lateral side is called as a pleuron or the pleurite. Okay. So these are the dorsal, ventral and the lateral sclerites. Okay. Now, these sclerites of each segment, whether it is a tergite or a sternite or the two pleurites, these sclerites are joined together by a thin and a flexible membrane. Right. Again, I am repeating the sprites of each segment are joined together by a thin and flexible articular membrane and that thin and flexible articular membrane is called as the arthroidal membrane. Okay. So today we have discussed the introductory part of the cockroach as well as we have discussed the segments and the body parts of the cockroach in the morphology of the cockroach. So we'll be continuing this series of the cockroach in the coming time also. This is a part one, right? We'll be coming with uh, many parts of the cockroach, including the morphology as well as the anatomy. So thanks a lot for watching me. If you want to take the screenshot of this video to maintain your notes, you can take. Thanks a lot.